Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. In this video, I'll be giving you some Shopify website tips for how to create a luxury style website for your business. I'll be covering a few different topics like how to customize your product page on Shopify and also how to customize your contact page and the cart page of your website. You can follow the tips in this video if you have a clothing business, a makeup or cosmetic business, and these tips are also adaptable for many other types of businesses. Without further ado, let's get straight into this video. One of the first tips I can highly recommend for adding a professional and luxury touch to your website would be to customize your contact page. You'll want to list your important contact details so that your customers and clients can easily get in contact with you. And also if you offer services, you can choose to add a contact form actually to the homepage of your website. This way as customers are scrolling through your homepage, they will see your contact form where they can just send you a message. I'll be showing you a beginner friendly way that you can add a few more of your contact details to your contact page. All right, so you're gonna wanna open Shopify and here I've opened the themes page. And you can go ahead and customize your currently published theme. Here on the website's main menu, there are currently a few default menu links. So here there's the catalog page. This will take your customer to the shop all page of your website. And then there's also a link to your website's contact page. When you click on the contact form, you'll have a few different editing options for this section. I'll be showing you a quick way that you can add your contact details to your contact page. Here under heading is where you can retitle this page if you would like. I'm gonna click to remove this heading text. Then below the contact form, I'm gonna click add section to template. And here I'm gonna insert a rich text. I'm gonna reposition the rich text above the contact form. I'm gonna click on this heading text. And this is where you can edit the center title. And it also have some editing options for the heading text. Then I'll be removing this button label and the description text here on the rich text. Then I'll be duplicating this section. Then below the second heading text, I'm gonna click add block and I'm gonna insert a text box. Then I'll be removing the heading text. And here in this text box is where you can choose to insert your contact details. And you also have the option to duplicate this text box to create more lines of text. You can choose to add your contact hours, your business email, phone number, and any additional contact information. Then when you click on this rich text, you have a few different options for how you can edit the display of this text. You can choose to edit the desktop content position and the content alignment. And that's a quick way you can add a few more text lines to your contact page for you to list your contact details. You can also choose to repeat those steps on the homepage of your website. So in between sections, you wanna click add section, and here you'll have the option to insert a contact form so that your customers have a quick section where they can contact you. You'll be able to change the color scheme of this section. You wanna choose a color scheme that ties into the color palette of your website to create a cohesive look throughout your website. By the way, if you are interested in this website I'm showing, this is one of my Shopify theme templates. I have a variety of Shopify theme templates designed for many types of businesses. These will help to give your business that professional look and layout without you having to spend a ton of time creating your website from scratch. If you're not too familiar with Shopify templates, after your order, you're gonna receive the theme in a zip file format. And here on Shopify, you'll have the option to install that theme zip file straight into your store. You'll be able to publish it and edit it to fit your business. I have Shopify themes for skincare and beauty businesses. And I also have some for clothing and dropshipping businesses. There is a step-by-step -step installation guide included to walk you through how to install the Shopify theme into your store. And most of my themes are template bundles that also include logo templates, brand kit templates, and more. I will link this Shopify theme template in the description box below, along with where you can go shop my other Shopify themes. The next tip I can highly recommend for adding a luxury touch to your website would be to customize your product pages on Shopify to tie it into your website. I'll be showing you how you can customize your product page and also how you can play around with the content layout and the media grid. To start off here on Shopify, I'll be showing you an example of how to add a product to your store. So I'm gonna click products, then click add product. And this will be your product editing page. So you'll be able to insert your product title, description, you can upload your pictures and videos of the product and also insert your pricing and some additional details for your product. And you wanna be sure to set the status of the product to active. This way it will appear in your online store. For an example, I'll just be inserting a product description that I generated using ChatGPT. For your description, you'll have the option to select specific text and you can choose to edit the formatting of the text. 
You can put it in bold, italic. You can also choose to edit the text colors and the text background colors. Here you can choose to adjust the text alignment. And when you click the insert link icon, you'll be able to link that selected text to either another page within your website or to an external link. When you click this insert image icon, you'll also be able to insert images and videos throughout your product description. Under media is where you can upload your pictures and videos of your product. Here under category is where you can select the niche of the product. Then you can set your product price and you can choose to set your cost per item. This will help to calculate your profit and margin. Under inventory is where you can type in the amount of inventory you have on stock for this item. Then you can set the item's weight. Then if you do have this product available in a variety of sizes and or color options, you want to add those different options under variants. So I'm going to click this plus icon and this is where you'll be able to select what kind of variant you'll be adding. I'm going to select color. I'm going to click on this variant option. And here is where you'll be able to add new colors to this option. And once you're finished, you're going to see the different variants listed. You'll be able to set the amount of inventory you have for each variant. And also when you click this add image icon, you can set a cover picture for each of these variants. And under product organization, you'll be able to type in your specific product type. You'll be able to list yourself as a vendor or type in the vendor of the product. Then you can choose to add this product to your collections and you can insert tags for the item. This can help for when your website visitors are searching for a specific product in your Shopify store. They'll be recommended relevant products based on their search terms and matching your tags. Also, if in general, you're not too familiar with the use of Shopify, I do have an in-depth Shopify basics guide that has a wide range of sections teaching how to use Shopify, how to set up Shopify payments, how to read your analytics page, launching products, and also how to launch your store. In this guide, I've included video tutorials, written text explainers, and screenshots to help you navigate Shopify and understand each section of the guide. And I will link that in my description box below. Next, you're gonna to wanna to open your website again. And I went ahead and added a feature collection to the home page. And here's the current display of my product page. When you click on this product information box, you have a few different editing options for this box. You can choose to adjust the media fit and under desktop layout is where you can choose to edit the display of these images. And here's the finished display of this product page. And at the bottom of the page, there is currently a default related product section. And also here's an example of the display of the mobile layout. And the last tip I can highly recommend for adding that professional touch to your website would be to customize the cart page of your website. You have a few different options of ways that you can do this. You can choose to add welcome banners to your cart page. And your cart page is a great opportunity to add featured collections. I'll be showing you a few quick ways that you can enhance your cart page layout. All right, so you're gonna open your Shopify website and I'm gonna click to open up the cart page. Here's the current display of this cart page and I'll be adding an example product to the cart. So you can see how the cart page appears once a product is added. I'll be showing you how to add a banner to your cart page, as well as how to feature one of your collections. Under the header, I'm gonna click add section to template. And here I'm inserting an image banner. For this image banner section, I'm just gonna make it a simple introduction text for the cart page. First off, I'm gonna click on these button labels and I'll be removing these. Then I'm gonna click on this description text and I'll be removing this as well. The heading text is where you can add an introduction text line. 
and you can choose to adjust the heading size and also make a few other changes to the heading text. Then for this image banner section, you'll be able to upload one or two background images. I'm going to be removing the container on desktop as well as the container on mobile. Then I'm also going to increase the image overlay opacity. This is going to help to make the overall image darker. And then under banner height, I'll be setting this to small. And that's a quick way that you can add a mini banner to your cart page. It can help to add a little bit more of a stylish touch to this page. Then at the bottom of the page, I'll be adding a featured collection. And this is where you can select a collection that you would like to feature on this cart page. This can help to promote more of your collections right before your customers go to check out. And those are a few ways that you can add a stylish touch to the cart page of your website. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget if you are interested in this Shopify template, I will have this link in my description box below. And I also have a wide variety of other types of Shopify templates designed for clothing, apparel, beauty, and many other types of businesses. If you're not too familiar with Shopify theme templates, after your order, you're gonna receive it in a theme zip file format. And here on Shopify, you'll have the option to install that theme zip file straight into your store. You'll be able to edit the sections and you'll be able to add your pictures and products. Most of my Shopify themes are template bundles, so they do include other templates like logo templates, banner templates, and more. Those will be linked in my description box below. Thank you all so much for watching.